Now let's say there's a law in the UK that says that every fish has to be sold for the same price. One single price from Aberdeen to London. That would be so unfair. And it's exactly what we're doing with energy. If I'm a fish man, fisherman up in Aberdeen and I have lots of fish to sell before they expire, I'd sell them for a cheaper price. You know, when something's on sale, people buy more of it. I can't sell them to other stores around the country because they're about to go off and I only have so many fish trucks. I could buy more fish trucks, but that would make all fish more expensive. And it's good for the community because the people around my fish store can freeze the cheap fish that they buy from me. Even though I've caught boatloads of fish, I can't sell them for a cheaper price. So people don't have a reason to buy more fish than normal and I have to throw away all these extra fish. And that just sounds so wasteful. I bet that would never happen in the energy industry. There's no way of linking that. Am I right, cameraman fish? Uh, no, uh, the UK wastes billions of pounds switching off wind turbines because sometimes we generate more wind energy than we can handle in some parts of the country and we can't put the energy prices on sale so people don't have any incentive to use more energy than normal. So we end up wasting the energy we're paying to make. I'm sorry, that sucks. Just like fish, wind energy is produced regionally, so it makes sense that it should be priced regionally too, right? In fact, Scotland produces so much wind energy that regional pricing, also known as zonal pricing, would make their bills some of the cheapest in Europe. But, and stay with me now, that does not mean everyone else would pay more. Right now, when we need more energy, we switch on gas plants. And the second any gas plant in the UK is turned on, that single price we have for energy, that one price, goes up for everyone. With zonal pricing, if someone in another zone needs to turn on a gas plant, you don't pay to turn that plant on. And you don't spend as much money turning wind turbines off, and we use less gas, and the grid becomes more efficient, so you pay less money. It's good. Zonal pricing is good. If there's one thing you take away from this, zonal pricing is a good thing that would make you pay less. Thank you.